Hi guys, we are just about to start reading the book Judy Moody was in a mood. And so before we start reading this week, our first three chapters, the first one is called A Bad Mood. The second chapter is called Roar. And the third chapter is called Two Heads Are Better Than One. And so before we start reading these three chapters, we have some vocabulary words that we're gonna be teaching you in order to help you understand this better. Throughout the week, you'll be doing some practice on these words, um, and then you'll take, you'll do a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe like a quiz, you could call it, on Schoology at the end of the week to show us that you understand these words. So make sure you're paying attention as we go through these words for the week. So our week one vocabulary words for our first three chapters are, the first word is social. Now, when you look at that picture, what do you think social means? Hmm. I wonder how you're being social while you're at home. Looking at this, it looks like, oh, those kids are kind of talking to each other. They're laughing. What would social mean? Have you thought of anything? Social means someone or something that enjoys being with others in a community. So are you someone who is social? Do you enjoy being around others in a community? I know I do. I wish we were here together again, <laughs> being social. All right, so that's our first word. Our second word is buzzed. So, hmm, what would this mean? Hmm, looks like they're having like fun, maybe making noise. It means noisy with excitement. So if you are feeling very energized or very like, woohoo, I'm excited to learn these new words or start this new book, which you're going to love, um, maybe you could say, I'm feeling buzzed, like excitement towards starting this book. So we'll see. How is Judy Moody going to have this in her book? The next word is miniature. Have you made anything that's miniature since you've been home? Or do you have anything that's miniature? Like, hmm, I could hold a lot of these miniature things in one hand. I wonder what that means. Looking at that picture, look at how many dinosaurs are in his hand. Those are really small. Ooh, miniature means much smaller in size. So something miniature means it's super tiny. Look at all those. Those are really small um, in, his, in that hand. So miniature means that something super small. Then we have the word operate. Look at all of those people that are operating. So if someone's operating, that would mean it's a verb. It's something that they're doing. And our definition for it is to perform surgery. So man, Judy Moody's going to be performing surgery. That's kind of goofy. I wonder what she's going to be doing that for. What does she like or why is she doing surgery? That's kind of strange. So operate means to perform surgery. Then we have craters. Do you see that little arrow in there that's pointing to a crater in the middle of the picture? There's a skinny little white arrow pointing to a crater. What do you think a crater means to me? That looks like it's like, oh, that's a hole or a, a dent or something, maybe in a rock, maybe on a planet. What is a crater? Well, our definition for craters is hollow bowl-shaped Holes. So um, I wonder where Judy Moody is going to have a crater or how they're going to be talking about these bowl-shaped holes. Maybe the moon? I don't know. Then we have the word clobbered. Hmm. How does that have to do with baseball? Maybe it's not about baseball. What action is he doing there? What's about to happen? Clobbered. Have you ever used the word clobbered before? I don't know. The definition for it is to hit someone or something very hard. Well, I hope you're not doing it to someone. 
Um, but clobbered, it looks like he's about to hit that ball very hard. So when we think of clobbered, we're going to think about hitting something very hard. And then we'll be ready for our next word. So our last word from this week was clobbered. Um, throughout the week, your teacher is going to tell you some other things to do to practice these words. So be ready for that. Did you hear the bell? We wish you were here too. All right. So those were your first words for the first week for the first three chapters. Uh, good luck with your practice and we will see you soon.